everybody, and welcome to the second video of this Unity Endless Runner series. Now, I'm sure you must be wondering, what the heck is this thing, this person, up on the screen? Well, I'll have you know that that is Ethan. And Ethan, I got from the asset store under an asset called Standard Assets, which is an asset that was made by Unity. So, we're in plain mode right now, so I'm going to exit that. And I'll really quickly show you how to get Ethan because I think that we're going to use Ethan as our temporary player. One small thing before we begin, please consider hitting that like button and subscribing to our YouTube channel if you haven't done so already. It really helps us out and we are determined to help you become a master at Unity. So, here is the Asset Store tab. If this tab is in here, go to Window and hit Asset Store and that should be there. So in the Asset Store, we will search for standard assets and basically the standard assets is a huge selection of assets made by unity and as you can see there is Ethan right there so that is where I got Ethan our character from the asset store so Ethan will be our test model for now and I made a few materials to color him and make him look pretty so uh, yeah we have a purple material and a green material so Without further ado, let's begin. So currently, we have it so that this cube goes to the right, or I mean forward. So what we want to do now is move that player movement onto Ethan, because Ethan is our new character. So let's see where we left off. So let's just position this camera a bit so we can see what we're doing. Okay, so our cube still moves forward, but... As you can see, we can still move Ethan because this is a third person controller asset. So we want to delete the components on Ethan. So here's our third person controller. Let's really quickly rename this Ethan. And we will just uncheck these scripts right here because we don't need them. Okay, so now what we have to do is transfer the movement from this cube to Ethan. So as you can see, the cube is using a player movement script. So all we have to do is move that player script or that player movement script onto Ethan. So let's drag and drop. So now, as you can see, Ethan has a player movement script. And let's change the speed to 5. Cool. Okay. Let's see what happens. So let's position our camera and play. All right, cool. So Ethan is moved. Whoa. Okay. That wasn't expected. But for now, we have the right movement for Ethan. But there's a problem. Ethan isn't facing the right way. So let's rotate him. Let's rotate him 90 degrees on the X axis. I'm sorry, the Y axis. And let's see what happens. Okay, now as you can see, the camera is parented to Ethan. That was something that I did off off the recording. So let's just drag the main camera out of Ethan. We'll go over parenting later. So let's just move this camera elsewhere. We'll rotate it back to zero. So, oops. Okay, let's rotate it 180 so that it's facing the screen. Okay, let's see what happens. Okay, so as you can see, Ethan is moving to the right, and he's moving into the abyss. So how do we change that? Well, we have to change the script. So let's go into Mono Develop and edit player movement. Okay, so we are in Mono Develop, and right here is our problem, Vector3.Right. We want to change this to Vector3.Forward, and that will fix everything. So hit Save, and let's return. All right. So let's test it and see what happens. Yay! Okay, so Ethan is moving forward, and he's tumbling a bit at the end, but our cube is not moving forward. But that doesn't matter because our cube is no longer needed, so we'll just delete him. Okay, so now what we want to do is parent the camera back on Ethan because in usual Endless Runner games, the camera is behind the player. So let's set the rotation of the camera to 90 so that it's right behind our character. And let's position it so that 
it looks good. Okay, there's good. So the parent and object, well basically parenting is with two or more objects and one of the objects is the parent and one of the objects is the child. And when the parent moves, the child does the same transform. So if you were to move the parent two units to the right, the child will move two units to the right. So in this case, Ethan is going to be the parent and the main camera is going to be the child. So let's drag the main camera onto Ethan. Cool, so now we have our parenting. Let's see what happens. Okay, so as you can see, the camera, whoa, is, <laughs> is moving with Ethan. And Ethan is about to fall into the abyss in a second. Yep, that's what happened. So, as we can see, we have the parented camera to Ethan. So one thing that I figured out real quickly how to fix is to make it so that Ethan doesn't fall over when the game runs for a few seconds. So as you saw previously, Ethan would run, 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 and then he would topple over. So how to fix this is very simple. So we're going to create a cube, and this cube is going to act as a little platform for Ethan. So let's shape this in the shape of a platform. In fact, actually, let's have some fun. Let's give Ethan a little surfboard to ride on. So we have that, and what we're going to do is position it right underneath Ethan. So, not not on his hips, well, we'll place it, uh, let's place it here, and then we'll move Ethan up a bit, so that he's kind of inside, kind of not inside. So, okay, cool, so we have a little platform for Ethan, but we have to parent the cube to Ethan, so let's call this surfboard and we will drag and drop it onto Ethan so that it moves with him. So let's hit play. Alright, so as you can see, Ethan does not fall over. He just falls into the abyss like a regular person. Okay, now if you don't want this platform here, you just simply uncheck the mesh renderer and as you can see, the cube is now invisible but it still works. But we will check this just because we want Ethan to have a surfboard. And real quickly while we're at it, let's give it a material. Let's make it red because I like red surfboards. And we'll just call it red so that we know what color it is. And we'll move the smoothness down to zero because I personally think it makes objects look better. And while we're at it, let's make another material for the plane. Um, let's make the plane green. Nah, let's make it gray because maybe he'll be surfing on some concrete or something. In the concrete, concrete jungles of sorts. Okay. No, that's not green. There we go. Wait, what am I doing? Gray, not green. Okay. I don't know what I was doing there. Okay, gray. And we'll move the smoothness to zero. There we go. So, so Ethan is currently surfing on a surfboard. Hooray! All right. So we have changed our cube to Ethan, and we made it so that Ethan doesn't topple over. All right. So that's it for this tutorial. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch this. In the next tutorial, we will learn how to move Ethan from left to right while avoiding obstacles. Once again, thank you so much for watching, and I hope to see you in the next tutorial.